Hello everyone, welcome to another Exchange 2019 video and in this video I want to show you how to update your bindings in IIS. Now what do I mean by that? So let's first open IIS and we will expand our websites. Right. So if I click on the default website and on the right hand side here you see I have bindings. You'll basically see that I have the different uh, protocols or types, so HTTP, HTTPS. So basically this is where, where you set your SSL certificate and you specify your address. now. Some hard code it, others you can choose unassigned, so anything on port 443. And then you would obviously select your uh, SSL certificate in here, and then you click OK. And you can now see that it's not bound to an, the internal IP, it is now basically all ass unassigned. Okay, so that one already exists, so we'll remove that one. And we'll remove the second one. Okay, so this is where you would obviously change your, as mentioned, your certificate. Now, if we go to the back end website, you also have bindings, but you see on port triple four, you can go and select your exchange certificate again. And you'll notice on port 81, it's pretty much like port 80. You can just uh, specify the host name generally don't populate this and it's all unassigned and then once you've uh, clicked close you can then launch a um, let's just launch an elevated command prompt and then you perform an IS reset so just to recap if you changed your server certificate right you would come to your server here, you would obviously replace your SSL certificate in here or you'll create a new one uh, or you do it from the actual management console or from, sorry, the admin center or the management shell. And once you've done that, you'll come to your bindings, you'll select 443 and then you will obviously select the new certificate. Now, if you're using a third-party vendor um, like Cloud Blue, I I work quite a bit with that. Uh, what I do notice is when you do the packages, it basically under the bindings you have like this one was set to the internal IP of or the local IP of one two seven zero zero one. They've got the internal IP listed like this, right? And then they've also got the external IP listed for both. So what happens is when you try and access OWA or access the Exchange Control Panel uh, Admin Center, you then basically get an, an error that the page cannot be displayed. So <coughs> just be aware of that to check your bindings. And for the management side of things, you obviously also need to change your bindings here. If you're using a third party like CloudBlue, I didn't notice anything added here. It was just pretty much under the default website. And obviously, you should test that this server is actually working before you put it back into production if it's a new server. So the last thing you want is um, clients getting pop-ups because your binding here is set to the internal default certificate, you can see. And if your URLs are configured to use the external name, which it could be anything, could be mail.theexchangelab.com, whatever your domain is, you're gonna get a, a mismatch on, on this definitely. So just be aware of that. So you can see I've made a change now. I can come to IIS, sorry, to command prompt and perform an IIS reset. 
and then that will basically apply the changes. If you're not uh, wanting to do IS reset, you can also do a reboot, but it is advisable that once you've made changes to IIS that you do either a reboot or a service reset. And thank you very much for watching.